Hey guys, it's back to back gaming in my, in my third tutorial. Um, in today's tutorial, I'm gonna be teaching you guys how to do your do your own custom thumbnail for YouTube with Paint.net. And well, basically, let's just open to get started. Just open our Paint.net, and it's not so complex. It's really easy to do. What you need to basically know are just the uh, measurements for your background size background size okay so first step we just okay let's wait a few seconds on mine because mine's still loading okay now go to image canvas size the weight is gonna be 1280 the height is gonna be 720 and the resolution is gonna be 96.00 then you click enter let's zoom out a little bit now we're gonna go to our tool window click rectangle select shortcut key is letter S now let's drag it all the way now click on your keyboard delete and you're gonna get this transparent background now let's go to our library, to our picture folder, and to wherever we have our textures. And by textures, I mean like a image that you add to your background. So let's give it so like a little spot. I'm gonna use paper because because I've um, seen that most of the thumbnails look a lot better when you actually integrate as a background image uh, paper style image now you click ctrl V to paste the picture or just click the paste symbol right on top and we're gonna choose choose keep canvas size now let me zoom out so I can resize it to Okay, and if you don't have a paper image on your li um, picture library, go to Google and just search search um, paper textures, and you're gonna see like millions of different textures, and find some some textures similar to this one. I really, really recommend it, and. You can just click enter and if you want what you can just do is um, add a color to it to make it more unique so let's go with some uh, like a similar sky blue so then go to our tool window again choose the paint bucket shortcut key is letter F and if you want to change the color just go right below to our color layer window and choose whatever color you want just by steering the point on the, cir on the circle or by choosing right down here below now just click your background and, and don't freak out if you see that's covering everything just right click double right, cl right click on your background layer and from the blending option just downgrade it right, no Choose overlay. Just choose overlay. Overlay. Oh, what the heck was I supposed to actually do? Oh my god. Well, revert it. Just revert it. Now create a new layer because I don't know what I'm doing. Now that you have clicked to paste your um, color, double right click on the second layer. Now leave it, leave it normal, but reduce it, reduce it, reduce it, reduce it, reduce. Like right there, so you can get this really nice um, texture on your text, on your text. No, sorry, on your background. Um, now you can create a, like a frame into it, but I'm not gonna do that. So basically, I'm gonna maintain it simple. 
now we're gonna go to our text tool on, on our tool window, shortcut key as letter T, shortcut key. Okay, now for our font, let's choose, well you can choose whatever font you want, but in this case, uh, on the description, I'm gonna leave you this really awesome website that I'm gonna show you right now. Go to dafont.com. This website um, basically provides you with thousands of free um, fonts for your PC, and they are super easy to download. Wait, let me let me change the language because well, I speak Spanish. But I really don't like it. Okay, and as you can see, there's a few right here. That these are like the recent, uh, recently added fonts. This one looks like really nice. Let's suppose. Let's use this, um use this one for downloading. Just click download, and voila, you have downloaded your font. Now let's see. Just choose a folder, show in folder, let me just make this and pin it as well. Now let's drag our fonts to our desktop because I'm, since I'm using WinRAR. Um, I'm just gonna extract the files. Open the file. And let's check our vector, um, our text. Mm, it looks pretty, pretty weird. Pretty awkward. But well, it's still looks nice. Yeah. Yes. And voila, you have installed your font. Now just search it on Paint.net, and I assure you 100% that it will be there. And this font in particular is called Jackpot. So let's go Jackpot. Okay, Jack, Jack, Jackpot demo. Okay, let me write to for put a black. Okay, that's some awkward text. Okay, this is some really weird text. Seriously, I don't like it. I don't like it. Okay, I'm not gonna use this text. It's really, really awkward. I don't okay, uh... Okay, let's use something more... What kind of... Okay, let's try this one. Okay, this one looks a little bit more better. Okay, now, you need... The word tutorial must go really big on your um, thumbnail because that's like the, the word that it's gonna attract more your site. Um, right here on top, so not so much really nice. Okay. And to be sure about that, let's go to Object, Align. Uh, vertical top. Oh my god, not that much. But yeah, not that much. Let's just shift click. Oh, and what I just did. If something like this happens to you guys, just go to your tool window and choose the top right corner tool that says Move Selected Pixels. Shortcut key is the letter M. And you can just. Mm, move your text or whatever you want to whatever um, place you want it to. Okay, right there it looks, okay, it looks nice. Um, now let's just change the color of our text. So just shift click with, with the magic wand your text and let's, let's see what color we actually and if you notice, if I just click the the text, it, it will only um, color 
one particular text at, this, uh, um, at a time. So let's try and do something really, really, really bizarre. I'm gonna click. And what we are going to do is now, this one, we're just gonna go to our gradient tool, shortcut key is letter G, and we're just going to drag this thing. Drag, drag, oh, I'm just kidding. Um, we're gonna drag it basically all the way to the top if you want. But, um, basically, even if you do it like this, um, I, will, I would just recommend it individually, not the whole text. But in this case scenario, I'm just gonna paste the, the same color on the whole text. So let me just shift. Okay, there we go. Now for our secondary color, I'm gonna pick orange. I don't know why the heck they did that. Okay, let me just revert, revert. Revert, 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 revert. So basically, shift click. Okay, there we go. Now, secondary color. It's gonna be orange. Orange. And the primary color. It's gonna be red. Now, let's just go to our gradient tool and then shift and drag this. Like this, and you may see it like this, and maybe it will look a little bit plain. But I basically I like it. It looks really and, and the colors like uh, make it look more cooler or cool. Now to give it a really awesome effect to our text, we're gonna give it a drop shadow. Effect. So let's go to effects, object, drop shadow. Now let's drag these. Two bars, like the bottom. There. Now let's the uh, whitening radius. Let's amplify it to nine, and the blur. Let's just leave it to five. And there you go, your awesome custom text. Now you're gonna make a secondary text, in which in this case, and since I'm making a tutorial about um how to make your own custom thumbnail, you're gonna write what the heck did I just say? Okay, new layer, but I just left it. Oh my god! Okay. Okay, now let's reduce the size of the arm or text. Wow, that looks, that's just, wow. Okay, let's. Small, but okay, you're just gonna write until you're not old. Or in your case, in whatever your video is about, just get whatever you want. Um, A little bit more bigger. Okay, let's uh, a little bit. Okay, there, there it is. okay, now you're gonna go again and repeat the same steps. Magic wand, shift click on your text, gradient tool. Drag it all the way. And don't worry if the first time the gradient tool doesn't work like you expect it to. It, it, you need to be a little bit, um, uh, like, careful with the rotation. Because if you don't, you're maybe messed up the effect of your text. See, like this. Tutorial, how to make your, and a third layer for our third um, text, your own.
Okay, there we go. Perfect. Okay, again. Magic wand. Check flag. Radiant pool. Magic. Okay, perfect. And repeat the drop shadow. You can um, actually write how to make your, in my case, how to make your own custom thumbnail or how to make your um, your own thumbnail. Oh, sorry about the battery, guys. If you saw that, okay. Um, I'll be right back, and I'm back, guys. Okay, now that I have connected my PC. Whoa. Now let's create again a new layer. I really recommend that you do everything on separate separate layers because maybe sometimes you can um alterate the effects on other layers and it'll, it'll really ruin whatever you do. Now your own In this case I'm not gonna post um, actually write custom thumbnail. I'm just gonna write how, tutorial, how to make your own thumbnail. That's all I'm gonna write. Basically, you can make the thumbnail word look a lot bigger. Or just leave it just like that. But let's see. So you can write it just like this. So it's, uh, it's a little bit more the attention. Now we just repeat the same steps. Just click on magic wand, gradient effect, just click and drag. There we go. Now effects, repeat drop shadow effect. And there we go. This is um part. We're not finished yet on our thumbnail. But um, right now you have successfully completed your writing part on the thumbnail. Let's suppose that you're making your thumbnail with something, with any thumb, um, no, what am I saying? Okay, well, let's suppose your tutorial is with Google Chrome, and it's about, it's about something about of Google Chrome, where you can actually paste a picture on your thumbnail so, so people know, hey, this guy is doing a tutorial about something with Google Chrome. And they're gonna quite catch it really soon because you have a logo on your tutorial, which is the logo of Google Chrome. And you get my point. I think I just want. Okay, but in my case, since I'm using Paint.net, what I'm just gonna do is the following: copy the Paint.net logo, Control V, to canvas size. Don't worry, you see it's really beautiful. Okay, now we just. Use our magic wand, click it, leave, now just, yep, and there we go, a little bit more small. You can basically delete the background on your image, that's if you want. I did it for an example, but I'm not gonna actually delete it. So basically, I'll need to reverse this. But that's no biggie, I'm just Okay. Oh my god. And if you don't want to go through all of the same steps, like drag and drop again, no, not drag and drop, like paste, copy paste again, you just click duplicate layer, 
and as you can see, the, now the shadow is a lot darker. So you're just gonna go shift click and just drag the picture. And voila, there we go. In my case, this thumbnail is ready because now you, that you have brought, um, written all your um, text uh, material and added a few touches like pictures to attract the attention, now you have created a perfect thumbnail. But if you want to go like more into, if you're a Minecrafter, just put Minecraft logos into it, a diamond sword, uh, Steve with a diamond armor, uh, creeper, a zombie, whatever you want on Minecraft, even a background picture with a little bit, a little bit of a blur about Minecraft. That's really useful. And if you want to know how to make blurs, just go to effects, to effects, blur. And I really recommend that you choose Gaussian Blur, not Gaussian Blur Plus, just Gaussian Blur. And it will give this uh, really cool and sweet blur to your background. Well, that's it. No, not yet. And the last step is to save your file. First, you need to save the file itself. So if you want to make other changes, you can make them. So just click save and choose whatever you want to save your file. In my case, it's going to be documents. And I just basically, as you can see, I have tons of files, three minutes files. Just um, rename your file and save it. But for saving your file as a picture, just click save as. Choose your destination. In my case, it's going to be my picture folder. And let's um, tutorial test thumbnail and change the uh, the save file type to PNG it's the best file type saving um, option you could ever actually um, like uh, like uh, you know the word I, I was gonna use but uh, I, at the moment I don't know yeah, yeah well you get Okay, now then when you're going to save your picture, it's gonna show you um, what's this, the space that your file is gonna actually like consume. And in this case, it's not that much. I really recommend that you always keep unchecked um, bit um, depth. Um, but if your thumbnail um, goes over the size that YouTube um, actually recommends. You have to decrease it to 32 bits, 24 bits, 8 bits. But basically, and it doesn't reduce the quality of the picture that much. And just click OK, and it's gonna actually ask you if you wanna um, flatten the the layers. You just click yes, but yes, but and actually, even now. Even knowing that right now, if you see that there are no other layers, when you reopen your file to edit it, it, it separates them Now we just close frame.net, go to our library, um, and voila, here you have your own custom thumbnail. And I must say that mine looks really, really cool. And I hope that yours, that yours looks as cool as mine. Um, you don't need you then need to do it exactly like I did. You can do it however you want. You can even twist the, the text, but I'm gonna show you that and some other tutorials about paint on that. Um, or maybe some gaming tutorials because basically my channel it's composed by two people. Um, in my place, uh, since I'm the founder of the channel, the founder of the channel. I compose the, the half where it's I'm in charge of basically making tutorials of a um, software uh, software um, teaching you how to make stuff that kind of stuff um, basically the basic of uh, making tutorials but the other half on my channel is composed by making gaming tutorials by my partner and he's called the other back to back gaming uh, whenever you see his tutorial. Basically, he's a Minecrafter. He's a super, super geek up on that. 
Um, and we are gamers as well. I have PS3. Um, I'm gonna be. I'm gonna leave both our PSN online uh, usernames on the description and the website to thefont.com. Uh, let's see. Uh, what? Uh, what else? Oh, and there's this. Um, there's gonna be a background music on the tutorial. I hope you like it because I love it. I'm gonna leave the link to download it, um, the link to the creator's channel, and etc. The basics and maybe some details of some maybe future tutorials or gaming tutorials that we, me and my partner might have. So thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe, guys. If you have any requests, go to our Twitter. It's gonna be in the description as well, or just leave a comment down below the description. Um, so yeah. Uh, Peace, bro.